Hey everyone, Tom Trosity here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Alpha 21. Now, I have been watching Glock 9, and you mentioned that Alpha 22 is coming sometime in April, so I may not have long for Alpha 21. But we're going to try Alpha 21. This this is going to be interesting. So we're going to go new, new game. We're going to go New Random World. Here we go. We'll call it Tom Trosity. Uh, general world name. Okay. World seed. Uh, there. That's where we're going. World size. Oh, there's like a max size world. Let's go big. Why not? Advanced generation. What is this? Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with any of this. See, there's a lot of new stuff I'm not familiar with. All right, so um, let's stick to region. Uh, serviceability not listed. No one's playing it but me. So. Yeah, we know the word of multiplayer. Uh, nomad, warrior, survivalist, insane. We'll stick with Nomad because that's what I had it set to. Uh, persistent profiles on. XP multiplier, we'll leave it normal. I know we go 120, but we're going to keep it at 60 just for sake of recording 18 hours sounds good we'll keep it seven days for regular blood moon range we'll keep it at normal blood moon morning in the morning yeah let's go now yeah, we keep it morning blood moon count i'm gonna bring it to 32 just to test it uh walk sprint sprint Sprint, Feral sits off. I'm going to keep that off because I just want to make sure I understand how this game runs. I say airdrops every seven days. That way if we make it, hey, I get an airdrop. Advance. Uh, leave that all alone. We'll make the loot respawn. Yeah, 30 days sounds right. Uh, XP only. Drop on death. Oh, we can do delete all. Let's just do backpack only. Uh, enemy spawning on creative mode off. And that's it. I think that's a good start. Now, I have no idea what my game looks like visually, so we'll find out as we go. But this is my run for Alpha 21. There you go. My game name and the World Generation C just for you guys. If you want to join me. Playing along, not actually play with me in the game. Let's begin. Crane terrain and biome stamps. Main screen bars. On your HUD, your health and stamina levels are shown in red and blue bars. Your water levels are shown in green and blue. Oh yeah, they give you details, don't they? Stone axe. Parsing resources. Distraction. By throwing a small stone or a snowball, you may distract. I didn't know you could do that. Stealth and sneak, yep. Encumbrance. That's the thing I gotta get used to is encumbrance because in the original alpha that I was playing in 16, there was nothing there was no such thing as encumbrance, so I gotta get used to that. Armor, I do need to get more armor. Bandages will come in handy. Journal entries. Okay. By default, quests are automatically shared with party members. Yeah, well, I'm not playing multiplayer. You may loot or harvest an item and not know its importance. In your inventory, select an item, then select recipes from the action menu. This will display all recipes that... Okay. Workstations. Wait, go back. You can craft any basic items. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do workstations. Unlock recipes. Uh, items locked. How do I craft better tools? At the start of the game, you can only craft quality one tools and items such as stone axe. Quality of an item is displayed at the bottom of its icon. To craft higher quality items, 
Read various crafted skill magazines, found loot at the trader, even at the quest reward. This is what I was talking about the whole books. Crafted skill magazines, yeah. They're key to everything. They can be found in mailboxes, bookshelves, and many other related loot containers, such as Shotgun Weekly and Shotgun Messiah Crates, or Home Cooking Weekly and Kitchen Cabinets. Yeah, so shit ton of books I need to find. Perk loot boost. Invest points into perk will increase the chances of finding real magazines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means it may go into locksmithing just to get more uh, books for the workstation. The workbench, that's what I meant to say. Base, base upgrading. Be like, so upgrade a strong version, use materials, it's so nice. Wood, cobblestone, rocks, concrete mix, and forged steel. Radial menus. Interact E, R's reload, flashlights F, and inventory tab. I forgot tab could do that. Because I think I could do tab at 16 as well. Harvesting corpses, animal corpses, and blah, blah, blah. Glue. Right tool for the job, the stone axe, yep. I am stats view and I am stats first selecting your inventory. Man, world building takes forever. Unless I gotta click through all these. Extended character stats. Blade weapons. Pickaxes. Axes. Steel knuckles. Building environment now. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Oh, this is a visual upgrade. Holy shit. Dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed a duke in a bad way and you could use some help. It closes a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we might take in a new citizen. The right White River Settlement. It's real and it's safe. There's another settlement job we gotta take. Be, peace be with you, friend Noah. So essentially the same message from 16. So, okay, cool. Let's get through the basic guides. Oh, God, hold on. Nope, hold on. I see that motion blur was still put on. All right. Now the motion blur is off. Why is that on by default drives me nuts? Okay, let's craft bedroll. Oh, it's so weird seeing these icons. But it is helpful. I, I get it. It's just weird. Alright, stone. There's a stone. I wonder if those could be turned off in some manner. Ah, there's another stone. There's a lot of bird nests here too, which is convenient. Okay, cool. And the settlement is... Good job, Survivor. You have proved you to be capable of much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location. There you'll find a trade where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens. Welcome aboard, Noah. I also got skill points. Now, the skill point tree is very different than it was in Alpha 16. So, I have to learn this. Okay, so we have Perception... Which gives us these combat perks. We have general perception perks and scavenger perks. Then we got strength perks, health perks, agility, intellect, perk books, and crafting skills. Okay, so I think we'll go into perception. Lock picking. Okay, so this is what I decided. I went with perception. I then went into Pumble Pete. Master Chef, and then I did lock picking because lock picking helps unlock workstations. Reading Forge Ahead will unlock various tiers of workstations and their their tools boost loot odds with advanced engineering and or lock picking. So I went with lock picking instead. So those are the points I put into. Let's go explore. I also need to find more stone as we go. So let's just keep that on hand. And gather, gather more feathers, too. And eggs will be helpful. Next thing is we gotta find a, uh, a town to go to. Like I said, this is random gen, so I have no idea where things are. This is going to be interesting. Alright, now we got some stone and some arrows. Let's see where the hell we are. 
Okay, so it looks like in the distance... That might be the desert. Maybe. Oh yeah, I need to reload. Because that's important. How am I looking on stuff? Ooh, I need wood. Let's get some wood. We also have to pay attention to our health and... Uh, not our health, but our food and thirst. Because that is tied to how much we do. So the more we do, the more you know, resource gathering I get, the more I'm going to go for my food and water. I know there's perks or skill tree point perks to manage that a little bit better, but something we got to keep in mind as we go. I will admit, visually, this looks a lot better. Like, they definitely made some optimization improvements to the colors, to the visuals. It's less pop-in. Like, even the, the trader buildings look interesting, too. Oh, yeah, let me close these doors. And we'll loot the trader here soon enough, too. Alright. What do you got, Joel? Joel of pal of mine. What do you got for your inventory? Oh, you don't take rotten meat? Damn. Can I sell you this? No. Alright. What do you have? Alright, so you got a sweatshirt, cowboy boots, blah, blah, blah. There is no more secret stash, by the way. So that's another change I gotta get used to. It's got a wrench. We do need to get water filters because there's no glass jars in this game anymore either. So I need to find... I need to get water filter and I need to build dew collector in order to get water. He's got a cookie pot and a cooking grill too. He's got some ammo... Got some food, some resources. I gotta get my hands on short iron pipes so I can make uh, iron uh, weapons. Okay, interesting. Come back tomorrow. We get new goods daily. What do you got for jobs? Since I've never done a job before, and they're all super far away except for this fetch one. We'll come back for jobs. I need to get used to playing this. And we also got to raid what he has. Actually, hold on. Close that. It was a special... Aha! There we go. I just found out there's a special room down here. So that's why I did that. Explosive magazine, cool. Yes, I do my research a little bit, alright? It's not like I'm completely blind going into this. But I am for the most part. Uh, where? Since we don't have those. I'll take the paper. Can I take the chair? No. Food. What do you got for food? I'll take the pears. Wait, is that the recipe? Interest cooking utensils used in the campfire time. Whatever. No, I just got the cooking grill. Perfect. Now if we get cooking pot, that'll be helpful too. Gotta read those magazines. Ugh, cornmeal. I'll take it anyways. To make cornbread. Ooh, we got what's it called? Charred meat, which is good. That's still food, but it's gonna drop our thirst down. What we got in here? Toilet. What's in the toilet? Paper. You never know. I think that's everything. Yeah. And then... Can't go out that way. So we have to unlock it to go out this way. Got it. What's in your truck, Joel? I'm gonna rob you. Eh, you got some stuff. I'll take that. Ooh, gas can. There's some gas. That's going to be important down the road. Destroyed workbench. Cloth and glue. That's handy. Don't need those. Broken down chemistry set. Why does the broken down chemistry set have so much of the cornbread? Okay. Destroyed forge. 
Hey, Forge Head Book. That's useful. And we unlock the Dew Collector. Okay, so... Dew. There we go. So, obviously, I need to get the water filter. I gotta get a shit ton of plastic, short iron pipes, and duct tape. Well, duct tape's not hard to make since I have glue. And I... Do have cloth fragment. Question is, why can't I make it? Oh, because I need 10 cloth. Okay. So, yeah. So, the stuff we need to get, for sure. Which is not a big deal. What else does Joel have? More gas? Hey, more gas. Okay, so we can't take his food. And I know we can't harvest it, because it's just going to say, eh, eh, on me. He's got a lot of stuff to look through. Alright. So let's close that for now. That's a rock I can't take. Oh, hey, it's a zombie. Finally get to fight a zombie. Oh, they don't stay down as long. And there's no more loot unless they drop loot bags. Another thing I get used to. What's that noise? I guess it's still coming from him. Okay, grabbing more arrows. Future feathers. Okay. Wow, it's already hour 13 going to hour 14. We definitely need to find a uh, setup here soon. That's a house there. But no, I was looking for a house that was not quite built yet. Almost like start fresh in a weird way. We're on Tran Road, and now we're heading to Cortland Street. I did not want to use a power swing attack. That looks like an oil refinery building. Big town. Give it that. They also give you, so the Brett Residence, that just tells you the difficulty of each place now. So that's another neat feature that was not in the earlier alphas, is the, the difficulty being there. Could make that our home right there. It's close. It's close enough. Sure, we'll take a trash pile. I like it. It's got enough room and everything. Let's just get rid of this guy. You don't let me let you hit you on the head anymore? Oh, there you go. Are you dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, this would be a good residence right here. Just gotta make some modifications. But this could work. Okay. Before we keep going. Where is it? Uh, there's. Craft one of those. Let's. Dump everything in there except for. Need those. Need that, need that. And we'll start with that. Actually, hold on. We do need to start eating. Now we'll put you back. Because I know I'm getting hungry. And then it'll drink some water. Water's gonna be hard to get in this game, I know that for a fact. So, where is it? Let me craft my arrows. Okay. Reload. All right, let's clear this out so I can put a claim block down. No one asked you to come after me either, lady. Go away. 
The details on this character are ridiculous, by the way. Okay, she's gone. Get away, construction guy. And he's dealt with. Alright, good. Alright, let's wake up some zombies, because there's sleeper zombies in this version now. Hey, mechanic guy. Get out of here. Ow! You bastard, that hurt. I was hoping to be damage-free by the time I got my first place figured out. But no. You had to ruin it. Rabbit, why are you here? Alright, so we got food down here, essentially. I'm gonna take more food. Rabbits seem to be easy to get. Okay. Doors unlocked. Nothing in here. Okay. Nothing in here. Some some trash. Get rid of that. Flaming barrel. Doors locked. Got some dead bodies down here. Oh! There's a bear down here, by the way. We'll take care of that bear, I don't know, never? Yeah, let's go with never. I don't have the ability to fight a bear yet. Okay, that's good for me. Alright, let's clear this up. Because I need to put a clean block down here. Damn it. Repair. Well, that's really convenient and quick on repair. I like that a lot more than the three seconds you, ha three seconds you had to deal with an Alpha 16. So that's cool. We'll get a shovel here soon enough. What do we got to do here? Ooh, destroyed workbench. I'll take that. Destroyed mixer. Another forge ahead. Definitely could use that. Garbage. Dumpster. I actually don't care about that sandwich. All right. I know, this is a big, big home, but I can see it still being ideal. Well, let's fight off some more zombies. I don't have feral suds on. They're just coming coming about. I didn't want that sandwich. Get out of here, sandwich. Get rid of these zombies. Ow! Bastard. Alright. There's the thumbnail, YouTube. There we go. Home sweet home that we're going to be fixing up. Let's get to work. Another zombie? Get out of here, crawler. Get out of here. No one asked you. I'm trying to build a home. And you're ruining it. You punk. Alright. They're out of here. Good. It would be helpful if I had a fire axe. But I'm stuck with this. Don't worry. If I don't have anything built yet, I'm going to probably use that room right there to pretty much fortify a little bit of a room. Another one? Bro. Can I just build my place in peace? 
How many of you zombies are gonna find me? I've had more zombie interaction than I did in Alpha 16. That says something. Let's eat some stuff. I can tell I'm already getting hungry. But if we've got the cooking grill, I just don't have the cooking pot. But I should be able to make grilled meat, unless I gotta earn points into that. If I do, that's gonna suck. Alright, so let's let's go over things we need. We need to get a dude collector figured out. We need to build a house. We also need a base built. We gotta do tasks for Joel. Because we gotta earn coin. And then uh if we gotta deal with other things. Because we gotta go for this town anyways. We gotta figure out what we can loot and what we can grab. So there'll be a lot to explore when you think about it. Oh, uh, this is the Kodak. Uh, construction. That's kind of funny. It's like a Kodak moment. Oh, I'm getting thirsty. Oh, I still got that one water. But it's our only water that's left. Oh, God. Here comes the cavalry. Get out of here. Stamina. Oh, don't run at me. Alright, cool. Right, I need to get water. That's uh, our only water that's left. We gotta cook this water down. Oh, that's why I need a cooking pot. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Also, we need to eat. Alright, so let's eat. Got these eggs. I like the fact that eggs don't give you dysentery and they're they don't hurt you. So eating raw eggs is like the benefit right now. It's amazing. In Alpha 16, this would have given me dysentery. So it's definitely a perk. So, we got some of an establishment. I'll end it right here. I'm going to get myself organized and get together. I'll see you guys in the next, next day of Alpha 21. This is a lot different. I do like it a lot. I'm still getting used to everything that's new, but I do like the visual details a lot more. I do like some of the stuff that they've changed. So, it's a positive, in my opinion. But, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.